Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to mask off all the windows and also how to paint the exterior of an entire house. Please stay tuned and continue watching until the end so you won't miss out on any details of how you can do this kind of work as well. The first thing that we're gonna be doing is to cover up all of these windows. And the reason why we're doing that is because we don't wanna have any of the overspray from the paint that we're gonna be painting the walls with. We don't want that to get on the windows or the trim. Now, as you can tell right here, we already painted this trim around the windows yesterday. We actually put some primer on them first, and then once we let that dry, we applied the, the customer's desired uh, paint color. We, did, we hit it with two coats. So the trim is already painted and complete. And now we wanna save that and take care of it. And by doing that, you just gotta put the uh, blue tape around everywhere. Just take your time. And like in this case, we have a lot of little strips following the layers of the siding right here. So you see all those little strips that will give you that nice, clean and perfect line all around the window of the trim. And then we're gonna put the tape on top, tape on the bottom. And then afterwards, we're gonna cut the, the masking tape or the masking film to size. We're gonna put that in between and then we're just gonna press down the tape on, around all of the edges and that's gonna seal up the entire window. So that way when you start painting the entire house, you don't have to worry about any, any paint going on the window or the trim. It's all gonna go on the tape and the film. So this is an example of how everything should look, but we're pretty much covering up all of the windows downstairs. The one on the top, there's, there's two attic windows. We're only gonna be covering the glass portion of it, but not the trim. And the reason is because we're, the upper trim, we're gonna paint that the same color as the whole house. And then all of the trim downstairs, that one was already painted in a light gray color. Now this house, we're gonna be painting it in a very dark color. It's like a charcoal, almost a black color. So it's gonna be a huge difference and, and very big improvement once we start painting, you're gonna see how everything turns out. But this siding, we recently installed it in this entire house. I uploaded several videos before this one that you can check out from start to finish. We started about almost a month ago and we removed all of the old siding, the, the wooden cedar siding that was on this house. It was really beat up and, and just, I mean, in rough shape. We took all that down uh, cleaned everything, put new house wrap, installed this brand new James Hardy five and a quarter uh, smooth plank siding. And thankfully last Friday, we were able to complete installing all of the siding around this house. Then we came back on Saturday to finish up one side of the house to do the caulking. And then we also pressure washed the entire house. So that was on Saturday, today is Tuesday, and finally we got everything masked off, even all the little accessories like the vent cover and the water spigot. So now that we have everything covered, we can go ahead and start spray painting this entire house. Now if you take the time and mask everything off, that should take you about a couple of hours. I had three guys working over here, and after two hours of them working masking everything they, they got it done and then my my sprayer guy he was able to get on the sprayer right away around 11 o'clock so we started around 9 at 11 he was already spraying this house and we were able to paint this entire house in the same day and that's what giving it a couple of coats you, you'll see here a little bit later once we apply the first coat it'll be everything will look like wet and fresh we waited for that to dry a little bit and then we went back and hit it a second time. So that's pretty much all you need. With, with this kind of siding and especially this is a new installation, you only need to apply up to two coats of the paint and you can do that very quickly and efficiently with a paint sprayer. Now over here on the electrical box, we just covered the, the box unit, but all of the tubes and the brackets that, that help uh, you know basically attach the, 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 the electrical tube to the house 
all of that is being painted and all of the blocks and everything. So, you know, that, that was part of our prep. We, we had already talked that over and uh, we, we only covered the box and then everything else, we're just gonna go ahead and paint it. But this project, you know, once you have this set up and, and ready to go, it goes pretty fast. Like you can see right here, and the way how you want to paint a house is you just want to go with the same flow and the same speed. When you paint from one side to the other, you'll want to start, for example, from the left side and then just start, you know, going towards the right in a, in a, in a flowing, in the same speed. Like in this case, we start from one end, go to the other, come back, and you just want to keep that same momentum. If you're going to stop the, the, the sprayer, you'll want to do it on one of the ends. So like if you go from the left side and go to the right and you need to stop, you'll want to stop on the right side. Or if you start from the right, you'll go left and you'll stop on the left side. Or like in this case, you know, my sprayer, he has quite a bit of experience. He just kind of keeps the sprayer going and just, you know, keeps moving the, the sprayer, um, just moves it back and forth with the same uh, flow and consistency. And, and that will maintain the same um, you know, the, the, the professional look and finish, it'll all be the same. So right here, we're pretty much done. We started on the left side of the house and it's pretty much all done and taken care of. Then we're gonna work our way towards the front. And um, as far as the, the top, you know, we're making sure to paint all of the fascia and the house. This, uh, this project right here and in this house, they're actually gonna get the roof replaced in about a couple of weeks. So we didn't have to worry too much about that. The roofing company is gonna come in and, and demo the roof, redo all of that, install new uh, metal flashing and gutters and all that kind of stuff. So uh, we just wanna make sure to take care of most of the rest of this house. Now this is the side that gets a ton of, of uh, sunlight. So. You know, we decided to use a pretty good quality paint we're using from Sherwin-Williams. It is the Latitude paint. So they have the Super Paint, which is one of like the kind of mid-grade level paints. It's one that a lot of people go with, but we decided to use the, the next level of paint. So that's why we, we chose the Latitude. It is super good for the exterior, for, um, you know, the it's very weather resistant. Um, it's super durable and it lasts a long time. I actually use this same kind of paint at my house and I, I was super um, in love with the results, how the finish turned out. And the sheen on this one, it is actually satin. It could be either eggshell or satin. Either one is pretty much the same thing, but that's pretty much the entire process of how you can paint a whole house. In one day, we were able to get this done and that includes removing all of the masking tape and film and everything. Then tomorrow we just got to come back to finish up any little details. I hope you liked this video. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss out on any videos that I'll be uploading every single week. Thanks for watching. May God bless you and I'll see you on the next video.